So let's say you're new to doing videos and you really aren't sure with all of the settings and everything like that. I get it, I've been there, but you have different areas that you wanna record your videos in. But the problem comes in when you're trying to constantly reset or remember what those settings are. And this is where Sony's feature of memory recall comes in handy. So I wanna dive into how you can set this up on your camera and we're gonna be using this Sony ZV-E10 as the model. So let's dive in. Depending on what scenario that you're in or what setting, you wanna think about the ones that are most helpful to you. So ones that I'll usually set for my memory recall setting is the ones that are basically if I'm sitting here and maybe I'm using the camera with a specific lens or if I'm sitting in the back part of my office, the lighting is slightly different and the settings may be slightly different as well. And that way I could just automatically go between the memory number one or memory slot number two, but let's dive in on the camera, I'll show you how to get to those. So depending if you went through the walkthrough video of how I taught you to set up the camera, then you may find that some of your buttons or locations for things are slightly different than way I have things on screen. So you may just have to search a little bit differently than how I'm doing here. But you wanna go ahead and press that menu button on your camera but real quick before we do that you'll notice like i'm in a movie manual mode f 1 50th of a second 24 frames per second 1080p uh, f 1.4 and the iso is set at 200 iso i'm in my custom white balance all those settings that i have the camera set as right now are things that i actually want to save in the memory recall so once you press the menu button on your camera i have mine also set to get to this memory recall area if i ever need to register new settings in my my menu but if you hit that function or fn button go to that first tab and you want to go over to page three and down here you'll see the camera settings memory and when you select that it'll ask you basically which one of these slots would you want to use so if i entered in a memory card then you see those other ones become available so let's do that so with a memory card added and back over here at this memory recall menu you'll see that m1 2 3 and 4 are customizable for me to save things to so i want to save just my basic default settings to this m1 section here and hit enter that center button on your camera and it'll register those settings. Now let's go into the camera and let's change this to let's say 60 frames per second. So I'm gonna change it from 24 to 60 and let's change the shutter speed to 1 25th of a second and we'll change that ISO let's say to 250. I wanna do the same steps to get and save this one here. Go down to this memory recall. I'll use my quick settings here in the my menu go over to the M1 slot and select the center button and that will save it. So now let's swap between the two if you now have those set for what you wanna use. You wanna go ahead and hit that FN button without going to the menu and this will pull up the quick menu, quick functions menu. You wanna look for this shoot mode icon down here and select that and go from the manual exposure to the MR1 or for like that memory recall. Now, when we hit the right directional button, you'll get other options based on what we have set up and we can choose from those. So now you'll see based on the settings that we have, the one setting is set to the F1.4 for the video. And then if we go over to M1, we now see that this is set to 1 25th of a second, 60 frames per second and on and on. So let's go and pick one. So now you'll see that we still have access to make changes to any of the settings that we want, shutter speeds or whatever. But now we have in the top left corner, you'll see that you're in still a movie mode but you're in your memory recall settings and the same if we wanted to switch back and forth and you can always hit this function button still go down here to where you would pick the memory recall settings go up in here to your manual mode and choose those last settings that you were in and pro tip the memory recall function actually not only works for like a movie or a photo mode but it actually works for the s and q mode so let's say you wanted to switch for a type of way that you generally prefer to do time lapses if you change over to that s and q mode mode with that top button on your camera and then we hit that quick function menu go back over here we'll see that we're still in manual exposure but you now have an s and q that's available for your actual settings for that s and q setting part so this works for all of the settings on your camera and you literally can quickly access whatever was last working for you or that you found to give you the best results possible in your video tutorials or whatever it is that you're making content around. So if you remember in the video, I talked about the M1, M2 and all those different areas that you can actually save to the memory card, but you wanna make sure that you get the right memory card, especially if you're using the Sony ZV-E10. Make sure you check out the video on the screen. It's really quick and it's gonna help you make sure you pick the right memory card the first time.